Привет, Фиаеве! Я принесла солому. Елена Кастрова is about to make an ancient fertility symbol, a man made of straw. She's demonstrating the folk customs of the Azurians, a tiny ethnic group from northwest Russia near the border with Estonia. Kastrova says there's been a cultural revival in recent years. Вернулись костюмы, вернулся бытовой язык, вернулся фольклор. И этим никто не занимается, этим живут. Оно просто вот ушло немножко куда-то, подзабылось, а сейчас вернулось. Kastrova is head of a museum of Ijorian culture in the village of Vestino, a two-hour drive west of St. Petersburg. It documents how this Finnic indigenous nation dwindled from several thousand people in the 1930s to just a few hundred today. The Nazis deported some to a concentration camp, but others had less dire fates. Nadezhda Bielova's grandmother was among Izurians deported to perform forced labour in Finland, which was then allied with Nazi Germany. According to family stories, the Izurians were treated well in Finland, but chose to return to the Soviet Union after the war. But Stalin did not allow them to return to the land of their forefathers. They were instead scattered across neighbouring regions and gradually assimilated into the Russian population. After Stalin's death in 1953, some did return to their former villages, but in the meantime, ethnic Russians had moved in. Back at the museum, an Azurian language class is underway. The teacher, Nikita Guskov, is not himself Azurian, and nor, he says, are many of his students. Приходят люди, которые не являются по крови ижорами, но они с любовью, интересом занимаются этим языком, потому что они живут на этой территории, им приятно знать те тоже традиции, язык. Russia is home to dozens of ethnic groups, and the Azurians are not the only ones whose language and culture are endangered. But here, by the Gulf of Finland, there's at least hope that a centuries-old culture can have a future.